I, Jordan, take you, Meredith, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Meredith, take you, Jordan, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Hello everyone! For those who don't know me, I am Mayor's little sister, Melissa. I have been planning a Maid of Honor speech for Meredith for a very long time. But trust me when I say that the words in my speech have changed quite a bit since we were kids. Mayor is no longer just my big sister who won't share her socks, but she is without a doubt my best friend. I have looked up to you, idolized, and adore you my entire adult life. <laughs> And I'm so proud to be your little sister. I've known Jordan for eight years now, and uh, I just want to, you know, talk about what a great, great man he is. This man has got to be the most generous man I have ever met in my entire life. If you are in his circle, he will literally give you the shirt off his back. I've developed a lot of relationships over the years with a lot of people, and I can honestly say that I've never met anyone more interesting, loyal, or who is a better friend. He's always been the guy that will do anything for a friend, even to his own detriment. We've been bestest best friends for over half of our lives now. I love looking back on all the fun times we had and honestly all the endless inside jokes I would always count on you for. She's always been there for me and is one of the most loyal friends anyone could ever have. Meredith, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. And now that you're married, Jordan's your sunshine. May you live in happiness all of your days. <laughs> Meredith always excelled in everything she did. School, writing. She had excelled at being a big sister, a daughter, and a world-class person. I know you will excel at being a wife and mother. As we gather here today, Saturday, October 3rd, to celebrate the union of Meredith and Jordan at this beautiful estate, um, it's gonna be so fun that we're gonna do it all again next year. <laughs> I give you this ring as a signal of my abiding love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Jordan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my abiding love. And with all that I am. And with all that I have. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Meredith, for as long as Jordan has been in my life, you have also been in, long, in my life. I do not know Jordan without you, and I'm so happy I never have to. I'd like to thank you all for being here to celebrate to the kindest, most patient, most perseverant people I have ever met. So I remember Meredith introducing me to Jordan for the first time at a bonfire, and I could tell she was really into this guy. Jordan, we don't know you as well as we'd like to, but we really are happy that you and Meredith chose each other. What's important to me is that I know you really get Meredith. So please take care of my little girl. It wasn't 
long after Marin Jordan started dating that I knew she was completely in love with him and that he was probably going to be my brother-in-law. I could see sparks between them when they started dating and I've never seen Meredith happier than when she's with you. I'm so happy that you guys found each other. I'm so excited to be here for this next chapter. The two of you, I feel, have always looked out for one another, even since the early days of your relationship. And I know you'll continue looking out for each other as you grow your lives together now as a family. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness comes through your door. I wish the two of you a long and happy marriage. Weddings go by in the blink of an eye, but your marriage should be forever. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I'm so happy for you. And Mayor, always remember that even though our last names are no longer the same, we will always be Walsh sisters for life. In the presence of this gathering and by the authority vested in me from the great state of Michigan, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Jordan, you may kiss your rock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed honor and pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Meredith Thurman.